Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokegame here. Today we have another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Showdown Live, this time featuring Feraligator using two teams that I've been testing. One is a Gator Hyper Offense, a variation of the team that I used back during Blaziken metagame, and the other is a Volt Turn team that uh, my friend and I have been testing as well. Shout out to Ozma for the squads. If you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure you leave a like. You help me out, obviously. Of course, if you do enjoy. Um, what's your favorite Johto starter? Just curious. Mine is Typhlosion. But I think Feraligator definitely makes it second. I think Meganium needs a lot of work to be better. And then it'll probably maybe be <laughs> my number three of Johto stars. But right now it's Typhlosion, Feraligator, and Togepi. <laughs> Those are my favorite Johto stars. So let me know down below. And also, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. On my way to 300k uh, by hopefully the end of next year. And, you know, if you like Pokemon content, I upload every single day. Sometimes multiple videos a day. I've been doing three a day since, I think, BDSP dropped. So feel free to subscribe. Um, also, I believe I launched some merch with my buddy, uh, well, my buddy's over at Merchland, so if you guys want to check it out, it's kind of like a BDSPS Drop a Draco. It's got, it's not, I wouldn't say it's part of the official Drop a Draco line, but it definitely is, um, just like a little, oh, uh, BDSP just dropped, let's kind of do something fun. So, they look very weak to Feraligator, yeah, regardless of having... Intimidate and this like they look pretty weak to for alligator They also look exceptionally weak to Manaphy, which is nice because there's gonna be a little overload right here on Empoleon By that I mean like it has to check Manaphy has to check Gator um, And Infernape does a lot too. So we're gonna start off with our Azelf. We are lead Azelf. I Wonder if this is lead Empoleon. Uh, we just taunt them. There's no way they go for Stealth Rock But Taunt was still my best player regardless and it looks like we take it Looks like we actually take that really well. So uh, we can go for Stealth Rock here as they burn me. And I'm just going to go for Fire Blast just to get the most amount of damage off on them as they scald me again. So this is cool because uh, I have some options here. Now, I am Yachi Berry on my Garchomp. So I'm going to bring it out and click Swords Dance. I know that Gramble can come out. I know that Glyscore can come out. I want to weaken Gramble. If Gramble gets weakened, that opens up Gator. If Glyscore comes out, that's whatever. If they go right for Ice Beam, I'll eat it up. Yum. They didn't freeze me either, right? Yup. Let's go. So it doesn't matter if they go out into their, uh, their Glyscore. At all. I'm just going to click Outrage now. Uh, weakening Glyscore is going to be good. They end up going Gramble after. But again, this is something I need to weaken for my Feraligator. So even if they double back on the Glyscore, I just go for another Swords Dance. And I'm okay with the homie. I mean, look at Gramble checking uh, the Dragons. People were doubting that Mon. That's cool because now I can bring out uh, one of two Mons. I do think the best Mon is to go into Feraligator for sure. I just click Waterfall. I pick up a KO there. Awesome. Gramble being gone is great for later. This can invite in Rose right now or Lucario if they want to try it. Um, we definitely want to get up screens if we can. Rose Raid is a little bit annoying because if it's offensive, a Leaf Storm is going to do a lot to Espeon, but it shouldn't knock me out because I'm max HP. But they do have their Defogger, so that's also something. I mean, in front of Magic Bounce, it's not going to matter, right? So they bring out Empoleon. I'm just going to bring out Espeon here. And I'm going to get up a light screen and then a reflect. Let me get up a reflect here. And then go for a yawn. A yawn on Empoleon is going to help me out a ton. And I think my best play is to... I'm going to go hard gator. Yep. Because I go glide score there. We just dragon nets up. I mean, we have dual screens up. Uh, at this point, I'm faster than their team. If they defog, that's fine too. They can't actually hurt, kill me in one hit. So I'm going to Dragon Dance again, just because this makes me faster and everything. And if they have Roar and Empoleon, so be it. But otherwise, I mean, this is why, you know, sometimes you use Earthquake over it, but this is so nice for Manaphy. Uh, we'll Tail Glow here. If they Roar me with this, that's fine too. All of my Mons, and this basically just gets me Light Screen, so I'm in a good spot. Actually, the best play is... Ref Reflect. Reflect is the best play. So, I'll go for Reflect here just because they have uh, double priority moves. I believe bringing out you is the play right now. And just throw off a Flare Blitz because it should. No, the play is to just knock you out because Glyscore doesn't matter, right? I want nice uh, Glyscore to KO me. I actually Swords Dance here, that way they knock me out Earthquake. Uh, and then I Dragon Dance up again with my Feraligator with Reflect, or I Tail Glow with Manaphy, and I think that's game. Yeah, because from this position, they have they had to do that, yeah, because if they Earthquake there, ooh, my homie looking good. My homie looking hella good. I don't mind Honchkrow coming out, I'm just going to CC here. 
And I'll CC again to get rid of Gliscor, I guess. It hits everything on their team, so why not? Even though Gliscor is set up opportunities for me, be very careful about that Rose Raid. Just mock punch here. Shouldn't be should KO me, but... Hey, E-Speed should definitely KO me. Even with Reflect, I'm pretty sure E-Speed does 66%. Ooh, I'm good with Rose Raid taking damage, too. Right, that's another free CC. I don't have to go for a fire move because there's no point. As they sack Empoleon. I'm assuming they go for E-Speed here. It's going to come down to maybe outplaying. And yeah, they knock me out there. I bring out you, and I go for substitute because if they go for CC, I knock them out with Surf after. Yep. I knock them out with Surf after. And then I think it comes down to like Rose Raid versus Gator. They have to be really special defensive. Oh, that that's that's definitely that's definitely slower. That's for sure slower than for Alligator. That's for sure slower than... That's that's slower. That took way too little. Yep, I win. Now, if they were offensive, then it could have been a problem. But that should be game, right? Because they don't knock me out with anything in Big Gator. Look at all that bulk. Not even half from a Haunch Crow. Good game. So, awesome first game. Uh, we got to see Gator basically... Well, what did it do? I forgot. <laughs> I mean, I know it weakened Napoleon, and I think it knocked out Gramble, it knocked out Rosary, and it knocked out... Oh, Gator did everything. That's it. Gator did everything. How can I forget? That's It's Gator. Oh, I should have had him on the video. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and look for another one, and then we'll uh, swap over teams. But yeah, just based on the fact that that Rosary took 45, I don't know if offensive mana feed. My one issue with this, uh, this squad is keeping up rocks. Um... When I saw Black Sludge, I, I just had to assume it was defensive. If it was offensive, then... I uh, probably no chance to kill. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> we win. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Like when you're playing Pokemon, this is something to keep in mind. Um, you cannot always account for everything. Sometimes you have to. And I know that sounds stupid, right? In a game where you try to minimize odds, but you cannot always. And I want people to remember this. You cannot always account for everything, right? So if that Rose Raid was faster than for Alligator, but bulky enough to take Manaphy, I could lose, obviously, right? But then if, I think this is Scarf Brillum, um, but then if they have, like if the Rose Raid was not, then I could win this way. So you just kind of have to decide which way you want to go. <laughs> Sometimes just what just works for you. Uh, Azelf and Rocks for sure. If they lead Breloom, uh, they need, I think, four Bullet Seeds to knock me out. So I'm going to Fire Blast here. Even if they're Sash, it's worth breaking it. Nice. Miss my bullet, miss my fire blast on Breloom. I don't get to bring, I don't get to uh, break a sash, which is you know terrible. Uh, I'm gonna psychic here. I don't get to break a sash. Uh, I don't get to do anything. I don't get rocks up. So that guy's gonna be the bane of my existence the entirety of this. Yeah, that should be that. That honestly, I think is game. Like I, I know it's like I'm, I'm giving, but I'm, I have to sack two Pokemon now to beat Breloom. Um, Manaphy might be able to do it if Rotom does enough for me. I'm assuming this guy just U-turns here. And he's probably Scarf. Yeah, and then they just get to go Lottie and Draco, and I don't get rocks damage on anything. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so we get that at least. Get up a light screen here as well. Uh, so we get just chip to wear that guy down the entire time, and same thing, just gonna go out to Garchomp. Again, uh, we're wearing down Scizor. We're doing what we can, right, to hopefully win. I'm going to SD in front of Rotom next time. Uh, ideally, they could just go Breloom here to try and Spore or Bullet Seed. I would be, I would very much, that would get me back in the game, I think, if they made that play. I think Latio still kills me as well, but. This probably, I don't think it rocks ever. I think it just always U-turns forever, <laughs> yes. Ice Beam won't kill me because of my Yachi. And Draco has to be Specs to do it, or Life Orb, I guess. Okay, so we have a, we have a, there's a chance we win. I think, I definitely tail glow. And I just surf. Like, that's my play. Tail glow plus surf. I need to get rid of, there's scarf ape, which makes this a problem. But uh, that means they can die to mock punch. 
That means they can die to Mach Punch. Them getting, giving me Rotom is great too. I don't know if Lottie... Lottie probably just Oko's me from this position, right? I'm just going to Ice Beam just in case they U-turn again. If I can get uh, their if I can get Lottie, that'd be great. Like if they go Lottie right now, that'd be a, a throw. So yep, perfect. Get that throw out of here. They do end up going for CC as their scarf, as I know. I mean, I already knew that. Uh, we're gonna have a reflect here because reflect hits everything on their team. They cannot knock me out with Infernape. Hell yeah! I don't know how I won, but I guess I won. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I guess they thought they just lost the Gator. Maybe they were. Maybe they were banded on Breloom. Which makes me even more upset that I missed Fire Blast turn one. But hell yeah. Alright, so next turn, or next game. Uh, this game is very Manaphy weak. This game, this team is very Manaphy weak. But it's uh, Defensive Scizor. I've tested this a couple times. I had some friends tested on their alts as well. Let me know what they thought about it. Um, it's Defensive Scizor. It's a Rotom Heat. Dragon Nets Gator. Bandit Crawdaunt. Fling Gliscor. And then Twisted Spoon Azov. I think this Pokemon should be Latios, but then the team doesn't have rocks, but I could go rocks on Gliscor. So there's like, there's like the option of that, obviously. So um, I, if the first game, I don't like how Azelf performs, I'm changing it immediately to a Latios. Like if I, if I run in the Manaphy, I just get 6 out. So I'm not putting it out there in the air to run Manaphy at all. Like Manaphy, just be gone. <laughs> be gone, Manaphy. We don't, we don't deal with you. Leave my presence. But uh, Protect Rotom is really cool. I like Rotom a lot. No pain split sucks for Rotom, but Protect is great for scouting. And the combination of Crawdot plus Feraligator kind of just overwhelm. Um, kind of just overwhelm, I feel, a few Pokemon. So uh, hopefully we can get a solid game. Where are we? Where are we on the ladder? Was it Brilliant Pearls? Ladder. I don't know what it said. Let me look at this. Also, for those that want to pre order, like, uh, Legends Arceus. Feel free to use my Best Buy link down below. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going to wait to see what the game is like. I'll see somebody else play. That's completely fair. I'm just putting it out there that I have a Best Buy link. So if you want to buy it, feel free to. I like their team. <laughs> pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, You have fun. Thank you. Thank you. So they look pretty Gator weak if I can get up rocks. Otherwise, I look extremely weak to a lot of these mods. So I need to be really careful. Um... I need to be very careful about as a, excuse me about that mon. I've seen your videos for the past two years. No hey, much love. Appreciate you. It's time to beat me with this offensive team. This team hella offensive, bro. They are. I, mean, I like Fling Gliscor a lot. And honestly, I only like Crawdon. For its ability to outspeed Dawn Fan and mess it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lead Azel here. If there's Sash, that's fine. I'm just I'm, oh, I'm, if there's Scarf, that's fine too, right? Like this is actually a really annoying mon for them to switch into. I just click Psychic now. Now I don't get to wake up as often as my opponents, but this does give me the opportunity to get in Gliscor, and I get to fling a Toxic Orb onto Dawn Fan. So that's pretty cool too. Let's go ahead and fling that onto Dawn Fan so he can go ahead and get badly poisoned. And now technically I'm supposed to beat this 1v1. <laughs> so we U-turn here. A Braylon we know is Scarf, which means it's always going to be a problem. I don't actually have a switch in. I'm going to Earthquake instead. If that's Dragon Dance, like Outrage, Fire Punch stuff on... That we're bad. Like, we're bad versus it. Yeah. I don't really switch in very well to Dawn Fan, so I'm just going to stay in here and roost. I'm assuming they think I have acrobatics. I wish I had acrobatics. I do not. I also wish uh, I, <laughs> I was crazy enough to stay in with Azov and click Fire Blast, but it's all right. Then they're going Scizor. I'm just going to... Hit him with an earthquake because I, I do have uh, this is probably SD. Yeah, I, I do have our uh, Rotom to always check this thing, so we should be good. Again, just the, the, the Dragonite is a problem. The Dragonite is definitely a problem. Maybe they go Breloom. Uh, I would like to get U turn damage off on it. That way, I mean, right at this point, like Knock Off can get a kill on something. Yes, they have Togekiss and yes, they have Breloom, but it doesn't matter. Knock Off KO Scizor at that range 100% of the time. Um, Dragonite comes out. Yep, that's the, uh, that's the threat. 
As they go right for a bandit outrage. Holy. Alright, well. Play is to go Scizor. Now that we know that they're banded, I can go Scizor relatively safely. I don't... <laughs> I should actually count because how much I take from this. Yeah, I had a feeling it was around that much. So we're going to defog here. Um, now that we've broken their multiscale, I'm a little bit... I'm less worried about that mon just because I know that they are not... Uh, they don't like this Pokemon at all, so I'm not even switching. I know that they're banded, right? So it makes it a little bit easier on me. It makes it a little bit easier. Like, I know that they can't drag nets up and that its multiscale is broken, so Cardon knocks it out with knock off. So I just bullet punched there because I didn't want to lose a, a U-turn. Speed tie? I should make this... Sassy. With enough speed to be faster than Clef. Eh, I've run heat, so. Maybe I shouldn't make it sassy. Maybe I go careful and enough speed for Clef. Yeah, we'll, we'll choose our speed ties. <laughs> Hello, brother. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna give him Glide Score. As I go for Outrage again. Same thing. I gotta roost once. And now I get bullet punch damage off on them, which is cool. So. I get the U-turn off into... <sighs> that did 13. Okay, we're calcing. We're calcing. We're calcing. We're calcing. We're calcing. Because I need to keep Rotom. That's not what I want. We're calcing because I I, I need to know. <laughs> I need... I... Crawdon, you need to show me the way, bro. Alright, so U-turn. Scizor, U-turn does 13 to 16. I did 13. <laughs> 11 to 13. 13.1. 13. 13. Good freaking game. Hello, does that even have an item? It does have an item. Knockoff does 95 min. Honestly, it's worth it. It is it is worth it to get rid of this threat. It is 100% worth it. It's annoying to pivot in, and it lets my Feraligator do work. So I'm just going to click Choice Band Knockoff here. Um, if they're not as defensive as I'm hoping they are, it's worse for me, obviously. But yeah. All right. So we get rid of a Pokemon there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I would love to get up Rocks because, again, the Bullet Punch Sweep from Scizor is very likely. They're going to Force Palm here. I think I go Azelf. I think you always force palm considering what I have in the back. Yep. And now I get to click Psychic. If we wake up, we get the kill on Braylon. I'm Twisted Spoon boosted Psychic, so I'll do a lot. Alright, so. Togekiss comes out. I have a homie in the back. We can just click overheat because they'll 2AK Odon fan if they want to go out into it. Never mind. Damn, man. It's really, that's really whack, but it's alright. Gonna make the, uh, the Azov play. Hopefully they don't knock off immediately. Yeah, they just stop it. So that means I get up my Stealth Rock now, which I want to pressure Pokemon, right? I definitely want my rocks up now because I want to make sure Dragonite and Togekiss and stuff gets worn down. They are Scarf. Let's see if we break through. It'd be great if we did. That is an amazing... That is like a, an amazing breakthrough, bro. That's like... I just found... Everything. And there's no reason to switch here. I just clicked Psychic again. I As of died to rocks. I guess I could stop spin. But I mean, me getting the Scarf Breloom is so good too. Biggest threat is that Gengar. But at this point, my priority KOs Togekiss. It 2 it KOs uh, Dragonite as well. Aqua Jet has no switch-ins. So I just sack you. I have to go for ancient power, you demon. I mean, it's time, right? Gator time. It's gator time. It's gator time. I dragon dance up now. Just need one. Click ice punch. I force Dragonite to come in, take stealth rock, and go for e-speed. And that's basically the beginning of the end right there. So Dragonite's forced to go for e-speed here. Yep. It's forced to. Awesome. At this point, uh, Aqua Jet cleanly sweeps, so I have no reason to predict. I'm gonna go for U-turn though, just I mean, because they should go down fan. Aqua Jet cleanly sweeps, and basically they can't go Dragonite after because it dies. So I go for Aqua Jet here. They're forced to go Gengar. Gengar takes the Aqua Jet, and then I win the game because 
of um, Bullet Punch being able to knock out Gengar after. So they go you. I'm not going to take an E speed if I can afford it, right not? Just light screen just in case. Bring out you and just Roost just to be healthy. You never know. Gengar gets 2 KO'd, but what I don't want to happen is... Basically, I want them to go Gengar here. I want them to go Gengar now. Uh, but I just Roost just so I can not be 2 KO'd, but... I don't know, there's like some weird situation where Cursed Body... There's no way I lose this game. Actually, there's zero way unless it's like sub Gengar, right? So, like, what am I even doing <laughs> at this point? There's no way I lose this game. So yeah, we just BP here. Dragonite goes down. Definitely the double into Breloom hurt them. They, them expecting me to switch. But the thing with Air Slash is like, my resist to it is a really good resist. But you can still, in theory, flinch me down. I didn't get Cursed Body, so I ended up losing. And they're, I ended up beating them. And their Gengar is like... Scarf damage. That was not specs at all. I don't know if it's Scarf Gengar, but it was not specs, so that was great. Um, all right, let's uh, let's load up this team. Did I lose that twice? Did I use it twice? I feel like I used it twice. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Let's go look for another one right now. I feel like I used it twice, but I don't know if I did. I'm gonna make uh the. So I don't like using Jolly Gator, but I've been fighting too many Scarf Breloms, so we're gonna make a Jolly this time. Um, I like Adam and Gator, just the damage is, the damage output's awesome, but Jolly's just better versus Scarf Breloom. Because we seem to be fighting a lot of Scarf Breloom's tonight, it makes sense. Unfortunately, Togekiss is still four points faster, but what can you do, you know? At least it gives you a better matchup versus, uh, Breloom. <coughs> Excuse me. I was watching Hell's Kitchen, we just finished, uh, season 11, I think, 10, 10? Been watching it with Marlene, so we've been doing, uh, we've just been watching the entire thing. I've, I've seen most of it myself. But we're re-watching it, and it's awesome. <laughs> I, have like, <laughs> I have the urge to call people donkeys, and, and you know, <laughs> like, I'm going to go raw into this mon type of thing. But, uh, yeah. So, this is the squad that we use. You have fun. This is the squad that I use with, uh, with, with Blunder, right? With Blunder. Uh, it's Scarf Breloom, from what I remember. Offensive Dawn fan, Specs that, Bandit that, Bandit that. Bam, Ban, Specs. Gosh, Scarf is annoying. Alright, Azov is still great. Azov is great because it's a good lead. Um, don't. Krona. See, the thing is, Fralligator wins, right? But it has Mach Punch and stuff to deal with. So it's still, like, it wins, but it's not the greatest. I think the sleep is always going to be uh, Rotom, though. But I'm going to lead off a Gator here because it's faster than everything. It should be Scarf Breloom on this build, but maybe it's Triple Bam. Maybe maybe they change it to Triple Bam. But I like Gator a lot as a lead. I like Gator's ability to just click Crunch versus Empoleon and, and Waterfall Dawn fan. So they end up going uh, Breloom. We're just going to make the Rotom play here. As a bullet seed immediately. We're going to make the Glide Score play now on what I'm expecting to be a Dawn fan. And what I want to do is... Well, it doesn't matter if they click that again. I'm fairly confident that Scarf. Ooh, I really want to hit this thing so badly. But it has special attack. It has Icy Wind though. So I actually am going to hit it. I'm going to hit this thing. Because I need that damage for Gator. As they get up Stealth Rock there. I mean, they have no switches to this attack. Watch me fling, though, on the Dragonite. Let's go ahead and break that, you know, just in case. And now what I can do is uh, actually just roost off the Outrage damage. Oh, thank you. It wasn't mine, but thank you. So I can roost off their damage if they go for Outrage. If they try and go for Fire Punch, I'm good, too. The biggest threat is definitely that Gengar. That Gengar, a huge threat. <laughs> no less expected from Mr. Strongjaw himself. Uh... Azov looks so good now, too. I think I go Scizor, but... It's just like Bandit, Bandit. No, this is Bandit Jolly. It's weak. Yep. Bandit Jolly is weak. It's going to crit me right now. <laughs> it's going to crit me. I, it, it doesn't like that I called it weak. But the poison damage is so nice, man. But yeah, this is Bandit. This is hella Bandit. So, and it's Jolly. I just remember that Blunder makes it Jolly. I think Jolly Ban is not as good as Adamant Ban. I'm going to be real. But yeah. Like I said, Jolly Band is definitely weaker. So, 
I'll defog here. If they outrage again, I'm good because, I mean, I'd rather that Mon go down, but I want to make sure that there are no rocks when we're playing this game. Uh, they can Flare Blitz. Rotom is, once again, the expendable member. And now my homie just gets to click over here, which is awesome. Ooh, and I did enough that I don't even got to worry about Dragonite. That's great, because I just click Protect now. Ah, so... <laughs> <laughs> You'll be alright. <laughs> this Rotom put it in overtime. Overtime, bro. Got my own shooters. We out. Oh, you know what's great? Azov smashes everything, bro. Anyway, I'm forced to Volt Switch. I think it's better to just go out to Azov and click Psychic instead of going. Crawdon, because I want to keep Crawdon a little healthy just because of that Aqua Jet. So, click Psychic here. It's Twisted Spoon Boosted! You. Not fast Pokemon, you. I'm going to get up Rocks just so Dawn Fan's 30 broken. And then, I know that's a little bit crazy of a play. But, I want to make sure Dawn Fan's 30 broken. Plus, I can keep Azelf alive. You know what? Screw it, bro. Hard crawdon. Hard crawdon. Go ahead and give me a KO right now. Yeah, let's go hard crawdon. Screw it, bro. I I just like chopped up my end game a little bit, but it's cool. Let a bullet see me there. Get to bring out the homie and just click U-turn here. Actually, I need to be careful. Oh, I might have messed up versus this guy. No, I U-turn. Not for sure, you turn. Bring out you. Click waterfall. I might have messed up my endgame versus Infernate, but we'll see. Uh, so that means rocks are going to be here to stay. Not that they matter as much, but... <laughs> but I get a kill with Psychic, so... Might have messed up my Infernape endgame. Damn it, man. I messed up my Infernape endgame. 100% dude. Play as a Sack Scizor here. Then go you and click Psychic. Maybe they give me Infernape, but I don't think they ever give me Braylon. It's Scarf. Nah, I messed up my end game because I got a little bit crazy because I went Crawdon. I shouldn't have went Crawdon. Um, I definitely shouldn't have went Crawdon. That's for sure. Yeah, there's that. It's going to come down to uh, if Gliscor can basically tank these plus tank Ape after. Mmm, yeah. Ooh, this is gonna be close, bro. This is gonna be close. I'm, I really messed up my 8 bang game, man. That's so whack. I'm mad at myself for making that play. I'm glad you're not doing what you've been trained for, Braylon. I don't know who trained you, but... They on my side today. I really wish I had the toxic. The, the acrobatics would have been winning the game here too. I gotta skip turns, guys, because if I look at it, I feel like it's gonna it's gonna happen badly to me. You know what I'm saying? All right, Bradlum. Perfect. Mmm. That's not enough. That's not enough. That's not enough. Actually. I earthquake here. I don't know. Part of me feels like they saved Breloom so it can hit for alligator. I guess it doesn't matter at the end of the day, right? Like they don't have no. They just they just go out to going them them going hard in front of it doesn't win them the game anyway. I just want to be at 100% before I do this, before they inevitably get 5 hits versus me and I lose to close combat. That's all I want. Is that so hard? If I don't skip turns? Perfect. That's all I wanted. Right there. Now they're going to get the 5 hits and we'll be, we'll be good. <gasps> hey! They hit me like scale shot, bro. Good game. And because I got Gator in the back, we win.
Yo, Flippers does so much damage. <laughs> nice! I'll, now, I'm gonna be real. I uh, I played it well in the beginning, and then I butchered my endgame because I got a little bit, like, crawled out hungry. You know, I had some shrimp early, I'll be real. I did. They were good. Let me look at this real quick. Let me look at where... Let me show you exactly where I messed up. No, this is great. This is phenomenal. Fantastic. It's just in incredible. There. Uh, let me see how much this does to... Empoleon. Yep. So here... When it was at 18%, a simple fire blast, because they have less special defense than that. A simple fire blast would have been the best play. No, 196, whatever. Whatever, 23 to 27, in my favor. That boy ain't even at 24. You know they had 23.7. So simple fire blast would have been the best play. It would have kept Azelf healthy. Azelf faster than Bannon Infernate, faster than Specs Gar. I had 10 million Pokemon here. But I just said, I'm going to click Greedy Rocks because I want to break Dawn Fast 30. Wasn't necessary at all, in the slightest. Because I literally have Gliscor be out in front of Dawn Fan, and then I messed him up with Crawdon after, but just clicking U-turn on the Ice Shard. So it was this This was my, where I got like, I want to go with Greedy Rocks because I want to claim a kill with Crawdon. Right? Because by going for Rocks there was a guaranteed kill with Crawdon. But that was it. Yeah, that was, that was a, and then I, yeah, from there. Made it come down to, uh, made it come down to some stupidity. But that was, again, that was my fault, like I said. So, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it, Um, I know where I messed up, but I got, I got really, I got, I got crawfish hungry right over there. 55 on the ladder, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, so, yeah, top 100. Hope y'all enjoyed. Gator, uh, whether... whether it was actually on the field or whether it was just in the back making it so my opponent couldn't sweep me with a certain move. Hey, it was fine. I hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.